Hey guys, this is Lego Dude Zero One Zero One, and today I'll be doing blog number thir thirteen or fourteen. So yeah, it should be in the um name duh, but I haven't been really working on too much. I just I made this little mock, or I made it and then I kind of destroyed it. Like I made. It's like the Revolutionary War kind of thing, and yeah, and um, I don't know if I showed this, but I got this from a trade, so that was pretty cool. I like I like the M sixteen DBR for like a breacher. I think it works really well as a breacher, like a breacher minifigure. So that's pretty cool. And I know I've showed a couple of my modern combat, like, r army rangers, but, um, I have a couple new ones, like this guy. Well, I've shown you guys this guy. He's not new. I just want to show him. I have this guy, who is my submachine gunner. Then I have my light machine gunner. As you can tell, he has an LMG. Oh, by the way, here, let me. All the weapon is from Brick Arms. The armor and the um, helmet is from Sidan. Or Minifig Cat Toys, whichever way you want to say it. And I, this light machine gun is custom a mixture of Lego and Brick Arms. Brick Forge body armor, Boonie hat. Yeah. And then I have the sniper. Now, I really like this guy. He has like the ghost gloves kind of thing. I'm pretty sure Eclipse Graphics did that. I think that's where I got it. But instead of printing, I use paint. So credit does go to him. He had a great idea for that. But yeah, here's my sniper. Here's a rubber band in case you want to. By the way, that's not a, um, you don't buy that. Well, you can buy it off a website. But it's like Creo, I think. I traded it, a friend traded it to me, but yeah, pretty cool guy. Um, then I have the standard infantry, who just had, or an assault rifle guy. I haven't done the suppressor video yet, I'm sorry about that, but should be up by this weekend. Pretty neat guy, brick forge body armor again, and Brick Arms helmet, and then probably the one who took the most time, or probably the one who took the second most time. If you guys saw that, that was my arm that moving in front of the camera, so I keep trying to grab stuff that's, yeah. And then I made the shotgunner. Now, I tried to make, like, some short, just kind of some sort of shotgun that, like, Maybe a mixture of a striker and stuff. Yeah, he's pretty neat. So, yeah. And then I'll show you the standard um, infantry for my Spetsnaz troops. Here is the one without body armor. And then here is the one with body armor. I, I have two uh, two of each. Or uh, I have four of this guy and then two of those guys and four of those guys. But yeah, those are the standard infantry. Not all these guys though have the same torsos. So I kinda use I like that GI break German German uh, blah, German torso, so I used that, and I made a modern, well, not really modern, he's more of a futuristic assassin, but he's custom, yeah, pretty neat. Yep. Um, I haven't, I know I said it should be out in a day or two, but I just really haven't had time, and I had to take one of those little base plates for... If you saw it over there, I'm making like a um, timeline and 
I build it. I built it, then I kind of tore it apart. But here, I am also building. Let me put it on there. Sorry, it's on the glow. It's just, but an Africa Corps trooper. So yeah, that's him. I need to trim him up some more. He looks pretty bad right now. Well, not. He looks really good. Just you can tell he needs trimming up. So yeah, and. I will be ma I'm try I'm going to make a sniper with this body. It's not it's just going to be a sniper. It's not going to be anything special, but and then nothing. Well, I do have something else to show you. Um I built this Navy SEAL guy. He's in a like scuba suit kind of. He looks fat, but he has like air tanks and stuff on. So, yeah, my custom suppressed M4. I don't know if I can call it custom. If you guys do find something like that on Flickr or YouTube, I've looked, and I actually got the idea myself. I promise you guys I didn't get it off of Flickr or anything, but if you do, um, just tell me so that I can say other people use it, but... Yeah, that's pretty pretty much it for this vlog. Um, it, comment or yeah, well, sorry for the pause there. I was just the words left me. Um, comment if you guys would want if you guys want me to add anything. Like there might be an interior for this building, and there's already one in there. Well, I don't have anything in there. It's just you you can tell there's. Yeah, I need to clean that up, but or that little piece hanging down. But you can tell there that I'm gonna put an interior in there, and if you guys can see it, it's really crappy back there and very dark. So, so probably most likely not put an interior in that one. I mean, if you guys want me to, I sh sure as heck will. But yeah, there's that, and then I built the MW to Woodland Spec Ops. I'm sorry, not Spec Ops. Troopers. It's not a Lego torso. It's like, not Kobe, but it's kind of a like military block thing. I think that's what it's called. You can't tell very well that it's camo. Yeah, you could see it a little bit. Uh, yeah, you can't see it, but... If you will look around, I'm gathering pieces that I might build a Lego Blackhawk. That would be really awesome if I could, but just don't know if I can. It'd be hard because, like, Daniel Siskin, um, the owner of, or, well, the person of Brickmania, like, who builds most of the sets, and you guys probably know him from YouTube, with that ginormous World War II mock. He's the owner of Brickmania. I'm. I love his sets. They're epic. Like I only have a couple. Like those are the four sets. I have the Humvee, the SDKFZ, the Howitzer, and the Jeep. That's all I have. But still awesome. Like there's the Howitzer right there. And then I have the. Um, Humvee, right here. Humvee's epic. And all the rest of the stuff is up there. But I will say what's really cool is that the howitzer can connect to the Humvee. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this vlog. Um, please comment, rate, or subscribe. And I will try to make a how-to for the M4 sooner or later. So... Again, just comment, rate, and subscribe. And once we reach 100 subscribers, I said this in a video before, but once we reach 100 sub subscribers, I will hold another LEGO contest. Now, that is awesome. It's 100 subscribers or I think like 5,000 views. I don't know. I said it in a future video. I'll have to look. But, yeah, just click the subscribe button below and goodbye.